Hey, how's it going? Spy here with another post apocalyptic world update video. Now, um, last time we played, I featured my um, factory save host over there, and it was pretty nice and all, but I downloaded a few mods here, including the Gregos mod, the MJM mod, and the Durfs mod, along with Durfs' apocalyptic mod, which has this weird, gloomy, and cloudy look to it, makes it look dusty and such, and there's a fog around. So I built a vintage house on this map, and we're going to go see it pretty soon. But you guys are probably wondering why I don't have my face cam up. It's because I am sick and I look like a zombie. So I'm doing this video without face cam. If you guys do like my videos with face cams, please let me know. Not It's not for everyone. But um, we're going to do no face cam on this video. And we're going to go up this hill. And up this hill will lead us to our factory here. And I haven't updated this factory with any of the mods or even the logic gate update. It still has the old clocks and such to open doors. But if we go up this road here, it'll take us to the new building. Now, if you guys want to download this map yourself, you are going to need the mods. But you don't need the apocalyptic mod to play it. Just the Durfs mod, the Gregos mod, and the MJM mod. Now, we're going to go down this road and you guys will see pretty quick that we have a new building over here it's like in a rundown area now this is our vintage house here I took inspiration from the Fallout 4 houses it kind of looks similar but not really I, I made it my own style we're gonna hop out here so as you guys can see here it is run down there is holes in the walls there's broken glass the bars in the windows were bent by something I'm not sure what same with this one here and I still have to paint some stuff in there. It's not completely done. And there's a parking spot here. If we go back here, this is our yard, kind of. There's a big drop here. <laughs> I might add something better here, make it look more, um, more realistic. And then we have like a little picnic table here. I might add a little barbecue and maybe a hot tub. If you guys have any ideas for additions to this map, including buildings, please let me know. This isn't really a community project, I just do this on my on my free time. So uh, I might do videos every once in a while like this one. But anyways, we're gonna head inside now. Now there is a door handle here. Now this door handle is actually part of um, MJM Builds mod. It is pretty handy, it's one object so you can press it from both sides, it saves a lot of space for opening doors, you don't even need to have a logic gate to open from both sides which is nice. But anyways in here we have our living room with an old TV and a fireplace, this is the dining room. We have a fridge, pretty, pretty min minimalistic. We have a stove that still works somehow, <laughs> we can open that as well. Yep, and then back here we have like a little storage room, we have the bedroom, and we have a pretty thin door. I like these thin blocks, these thin blocks are also a part of the MJM mod, and um, that also helped me make this bed here, and it looks pretty nice. We have like a little blanket up top, and a pillow, the pillow's pretty thin, I like using signs for pillows. Okay, and then back here we have a bathroom, with a nice shower faucet. And we got a toilet with someone who hoarded a bunch of toilet paper. I don't know who. Maybe someone pre-apocalypse or maybe while well, in the apocalypse they found a bunch of toilet paper. Lucky them. <laughs> and then back here we have like a little uh, kids room or something. And we have a bed frame against the door. Maybe defending from something. I'm not quite sure. And then back here we have a another little storage room. It's pretty pretty simple. Nothing much going on in here. So that's pretty much it for the house here, but it actually isn't all. There is more underneath the house. That is actually a hidden bunker. So we're gonna go over there, and as you guys can see, the button is pretty well hidden. It's right here actually. And we press the button and it will open up a secret entrance to the bunker. Now I don't know if this bunker is pre-war or pre-apocalypse or whatever it was. But it is very futuristic. It looks, it doesn't really fit the theme. So it kind of looks like it was here before the war. Maybe a sentient life or something. We're going to head down. We're going to press this button here to close the doors. The staircase will recede into the wall. 
and the doors will close and it will look like it's supposed to be like that. There we go. Look at that. Very hidden. Looks pretty nice though. And over here we have like a little reactor. Just in case you need to supply the bunker with power for a very long time. Now the blocks in there are a hidden block in the game. Which were unlocked with the derf mod. They're awesome because they glow. And I added like a blue tint to it to make it look like it is a fuel for the reactor. And we got a control panel here. Nothing, nothing too much. It doesn't really do anything. But back here we have another room. And this room is the cryogenic room. There's a stasis pod here. We're going to open it up. And this is where someone can come down and they can go in cryogenic stasis if they need to for a very long time um, say the the war started and um, they wanted to stay in stasis until the war ended something like that we're gonna hop in now I did I couldn't find a better seat so I just used this one it doesn't work the greatest but yeah uh, I guess it I guess it's all right <laughs> so there we go we're in we're in stasis now kind of on our stomach <laughs> I was gonna add it upside down but that looked even funnier Okay, we're going to open that back up. It'll take a few seconds. There we go. Awesome. So that's pretty much it for the bunker. There's not much else going on here. I was going to add these lights to the uh, sensors over there. They're supposed to automatically turn on, but I don't know why they aren't right now. There must be a logic gate that is kind of broken or something. Um, or it could be reversed. Let, let's see. We're going to open it back up and we're going to head upstairs. Oh yeah, there we go. So they only really turn on if the bunker is opening. As you guys can see there. I should probably reverse that, but oh well. It looks alright. We're going to head back upstairs really quick. There we go. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it for this house and the bunker. Like I said, if you guys have any ideas for themes or builds for this map, please let me know. I'm still working on it here and there, and the Mini City episode should be coming up in a bit. I have a few things planned for the next episode. So that's pretty much it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing, and I will see you guys next episode. Remember, stay sweet. Bye!